we just want to help make sure that when you go to the marketplace that you're you are organized you are structured that your program makes sense to people and people go you know what Gigi has something that's valuable. I'm going to talk to Gigi. And then upon further talking to Gigi, it's, hey, I want to hire Gigi because she has something of value. For anybody out there, let's figure out what your talents are and how can we organize you to make a difference in the world and get you paid. I promise you that you can create a business. You can get paid for a business. And being employer reliant is no good. We want to be self-reliant instead of employer reliant or government reliant or family reliant or charity reliant. Uh, because when you can stand on your own two feet, go to the marketplace and make money, that's called a survival skill. And the better of a provider you are for yourself through your own business, you can provide for yourself, your family, your spouse, your children, the people you love. And if you really prosper and do well in your business, you can contribute to your community and even possibly become a philanthropist. So I think it's really important. I know, Gigi, that God is important to you. God is important to me. And we need to succeed in our business so we can fund our spiritual endeavors. Our business is not separate from our spirituality. Our spirituality and our business can go hand in hand and work together. When, you, when good people make good money, they can do good things. And, and that's really what I'm an advocate for. So let's help you prosper so you can prosper others. As you prosper others, you'll prosper yourself. And you can be a better provider for yourself, your family, and the rest of the world. I love it. Now, Joy Brown says, deliver the goodies. LOL, good word. And she also says, you deserve to get paid. I absolutely agree. Now, there are some folks out there, Joe, that say, oh, I have a fear of money. I can't get money. I can get paid. They, they start up a business. And then once it comes time for them to get paid, they run away. What mm -hmm. would you say? folks. And before you, you answer that, Joe, Joy Brown says, good interview, Gigi. I like this guy. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I think most of us, we are tattooed in our cradles with the beliefs of our tribe, meaning we learn about our money beliefs from our family tribe. When you were sitting around the table at dinner time with your family, were all of your money conversations uplifting and empowering also? I think most of us did not have uplifting, empowering conversations around money. I think the reason we have those money beliefs and we run away from the money is nobody ever taught us healthy affirmations, healthy beliefs around money. And so if your tribe did not teach you how to have healthy beliefs around money, then I ask, I'm going to invite you to work through the unhealthy beliefs and give you empowering beliefs, because at the end of the day, if you can serve people, get paid, and actually feel good about it. And if you're not feeling good about it, we need to explore what's really going on in your belief system. If I help you, it's an exchange. If I help improve your life in a big way, then I deserve to get paid in a big way. And so we just need to realize that it's an exchange. And if you show up with a big contribution, again, if you, the easiest way to make $10,000 is solve somebody's $100,000 problem. If you can make your $100,000 problem go away for $10,000, it's a good deal for both of us. Just recognize that you're not getting paid in some kind of dirty way. You're getting paid in a healthy way because you're helping improve somebody's life, their family, their health, their business, whatever it is you do. My karate sensei says, one of the goals in life is we want to get to a place where you say, I ask my mind and I feel no shame. I feel no shame in charging the money that I charge because I know that I'm making a huge difference. I help people start a business and I charge a certain amount for my services. If somebody starts a business and they make something very moderate, let's just say $4,000 a month in their business, it doesn't just happen for one month and it disappears. If you really embody and learn and use the skills that I teach, you're going to make a minimum of four grand a month, month after month. So that's 48,000 a year. Over 10 years, that's $480,000. So if I help you create $480,000 of income over the next 10 years, isn't that worth paying me a nominal fee? Let's just throw out a number like $10,000. Would you pay $10,000 to learn how to make $480,000 and actually make $480,000? It's completely worth it. So 
you want to get to this place where the amount of money, even though it's good money, it's small compared to the long-term benefit you get as a result of what we do together. I love it. Very powerful. Thank you for being a guest on Walk With Me podcast, Joe. I truly appreciate you. And ladies and gentlemen, again, make sure to check out Joe at EmployeeEscapePlan.com. And Joe, you have a blessed day. You too, Gigi. Thank you so much. You're welcome.